the reverse fixture in August was a cracker with Crawley coming from behind to win 3-2. This is now, though, with Berry third in the table and unbeaten in six. A three-all draw at home to league leaders Lincoln last weekend ended a four-game winning run. Crawley are 16th, seven points clear of the drop zone. They won at Swindon last weekend and snapped a three-game losing streak. And as you can see, conditions not easy. Oh! Conditions upgraded to difficult. It's Helen Byrne officiating on that side. That looked painful. And it is certainly frozen over there. So she'll have to be careful running the line. Barry, the first to string a few passes together. Dans, still Dans, letting him go. He goes over. It looks like Helen Burns okay. Oh, there's a mix up. Dance, hitting it against Scott Wharton. Crawley have given it away as well. Fadzin sorts it out. O'Shea. The layoff from Maynard. And the shot is saved by Glenn Morris. Nicky Adams testing the visiting goalkeeper. Frankham. A bit of first half pressure from Crawley Town. Too far over the crossbar, but not close enough to trouble the goalkeeper. That's a good pass from O'Connell. Opens up the play, and Berry come again. Inside the fullback, and so close to the first goal. That's an excellent Berry move. And Helen Byrne will have to be replaced. She battled on, but slipping on the ice has led to a replacement assistant referee. Crawley dealing well with the slippery conditions on this near side of the pitch. Marais. It's a good interception. Crawley have an opportunity. Didn't really trouble Joe Murphy. Well, this could go either way, this game. Early penalty shout, foul on Neil Dans. And the referee, Neil Hare, waving it away. This looks promising for Crawley. Panucci camera, wayward with his effort. Put forward by Dans. Looking for Telford. That's a lovely layoff. Oh, a very nearly an own goal. O'Shea wanted just a little bit too much time. It allowed the defender to nip in, but he very nearly put it past his own goalkeeper. Glenn Morris, grateful to grab hold of the ball. Gambin. Easily fielded by Glenn Morris. Berry, who are dictating the pace of the game. And they're nearly in again. Telford trying to turn. Maynard lost out.
Adams. He took a cross. And pumped over the crossbar by Jay O'Shea, who was quickly onto that loose ball. And Berry showing signs of life. Crawley under pressure. It's Adams once more. Couldn't collect the loose ball after his cross was intercepted. Nice turn from O'Shea. Still O'Shea. Right to challenge. Little step over. Goalkeeper standing guard on his near post. Made sure that one wasn't going in. Good play from O'Shea. Berry with a corner. O'Shea. Wanted a corner. He said the last touch came off a Crawley player. Referee not having any of it. Either side have carved out a really good opportunity. Maynard with the ball forward. It just hasn't quite happened on a difficult surface. Nice take from Telford. And that's really the story of the game. McFadden blazing high and wide. Berry come again. They're now dominating possession. This is Adams. O'Shea. Dictating the pace of play and a waspish shot beaten away. Maynard with it. And the follow up is wide. Maynard chasing. And he's putting the effort in and he forced McNerney to concede a corner. Good play from Nicky Maynard. Adams has to be careful of the frozen surface on this near side. Cross is curled in. And a goal! A goal for Nicky Maynard. A poacher's goal. His 14th of the season, and 83 minutes played. Crawley go behind. Berry have deserved this. The ball played in by Rossiter. And Maynard, in the right place, at the right time, scores. Hard lines on Crawley. They've worked really hard to keep Berry out. Daniel George and the shot is a good one it's straight at the goalkeeper from camera here's Adams forward Adams beaten by the bounce is there something in this game for Crawley Nathaniel George oh and through the legs of the goalkeeper Ollie Palmer has scored an equaliser Three minutes left to play. And Crawley, who've been second best for most of the game, have snatched a late equaliser. Palmer in behind the defenders, and he squeezes it between goalkeeper and post. Hands on heads for the Berry players. Crawley back in it. Credit to them, they've kept going. Adams. O'Shea. Still O'Shea, nobody there for Berry. Just about time to take this free kick. Last chance for Berry to claim a victory. And that is the end of the game.
a hard-earned point for Crawley Town. Both goals coming in the last 10 minutes. Maynard on 83 for Berry. He thought he'd won it for the home side, but Crawley responded, 1-1 the final score.